Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the LMGK intro. Uh, you guys already saw it in the intro of this video, and it's a really clean, really simple effect. Um, this is just going to be a very quick tutorial. It's really easy. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So what you're going to do is you're going to add an adjustment clip in. Uh, it should be on the video too, because your cinematic should be in video one. But I don't have the cinematic again, so I'm just going to put it in uh video one so what we're gonna do is select the adjustment clip we're gonna go into fusion and we're gonna go ahead and drag this text in and we're gonna put this down here and this is how it's gonna look so next we're gonna go ahead and drag in this which is uh this is a rectangle mask so just go ahead and click on that and put it in and you're gonna go ahead and drag this onto the text so it should look like this and what you're going to want to do is next you're going to want to go ahead and find your text and go ahead and put on the Akira expanded font. This font will be in the description. So let's just go ahead and type high lights like 10 and then chop. Now notice how like the this isn't showing up because the mask here is covering it so that only like the rectangle area is being shown. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the width all the way met to max and we're going to go ahead and change the size of this text so that's a little smaller. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Around 0.55 looks pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first frame of here and we're going to go ahead and keyframe the width so that it is zero so that you can't see the text whatsoever. And then we're going to go ahead and play this um, a little bit. So let's see how many frames I want it to um, expand. So I think like 15 frames looks pretty good. So just play however, play it for however long you want the text to be expanding for. So I'm just gonna play it for like I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do uh, 15 frames. Uh, it says 15 right here, so I know this is the 15th frame. And we're just gonna go ahead and go to the rectangle. And we're gonna change the width so to so that it is barely visible. Like the text, like the rectangle should be like really close to the edge of this text. You wanna make sure you do that. And that's basically it. So that's basically it for the masking. Um, it's going to turn into a bigger. T it's just gonna expand just like that. Uh, now next we're gonna go ahead and search up s underscore drop shadow you guys should all have the sapphire plugins by now if you are a subscriber of this channel no and if you get guys don't have the sapphire plugins i will put them in the description so yeah so the drop shadow is right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh change the shadow color to like yellow or you can change it to whatever color you want but lmgk uses yellow so i'm just gonna put it at yellow and um, now you can see that the drop shadow is there, but it does not look good at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the shadow opacity to max and put the shadow blur to the minimum. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change shift X and shift Y both to zero so that it is basically invisible. So basically what this is, is so that the drop shadow is literally on top of the text or it's literally behind the text so you cannot see the drop shadow at all i mean you can see it a little bit here but it's like a, only a tad bit so it doesn't really count so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the shadow blur up a tad bit um the perfect setting should be around like here maybe a little less yeah 0 0.002 looks pretty good you can see the highlight um you can see the drop shadow a little here so yeah that looks pretty good and that's basically it a uh, really quick tutorial today because da vinci hasn't been working a lot for me so i'm just really just recording this tutorial for now and yeah that's really simple really sick really simple really cool effect and yeah that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out guys